hey, the universe wasn't wrong by showing you this message. This won't take but a minute. Well, maybe five minutes. I do five cards in five minutes. And today we're going to ask our guardian angels what messages they have for you. Is it about love? Is it about abundance? Is it about money? Is it about your job? Is it about your career? Is it about your relationship? You won't know until you continue watching. So let's get started. Well, hello, Cancer, and welcome to your five cards in five minutes. Uh, today, I'm going to be using the Guardian Angel Tarot cards. And as you can see, this is a well-loved deck. Um, we just need some nice positive messages or any messages from our Guardian Angels to just get us through this crazy times we're in. Um, so I'm going to be asking the Guardian Angels... Guardian Angels, what messages do you have for our Cancerian friends? Guardian Angels, what messages do you have for our Cancerian friends? Guardian Angels, what messages do you have from our for our Cancerian friends? It looks like they're ready to talk. Guardian Angels, what messages do you have for our Cancerian friends? And I only read these upright. So let's get started. Five of emotion. Forgiveness is an important part of healing. Forgive yourself and those around you for any mistakes of the past so that everyone can move forward. Grieving is a normal part of life. Ask your angels or those you love to help you move through the process quickly so you can get back on the path to joy. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm, I'm, I'm all choked up. I feel like I want to cry. Cancer, I think you need to hear this quite clearly. Forgiveness is an important part of healing. Wow, Cancer, you've got some forgiveness to do. And, and probably of yourself. Go within. You are a very intuitive person. And there are many wonderful insights that lie waiting inside you. Take time to be quiet and reflect upon the desires of your heart through meditation or prayer. There's no need to take action right now. Be patient with yourself. So this is a direct message for you, Cancer. Um, you need some emotional healing. And part of that is going within. Nine of action. You've worked hard to create the things that you cherish in your life, such as beloved relationships, amazing accomplishments, and hearth and home. Rest, rest assured, all these treasures and you are being constantly protected by your angels. In return, Mother Earth, the animals, and the environment need your protection. So I think the angels are saying, go out in nature. So go within, but but be, do else go when go outside. So maybe go to a public park, um, go to a campground, um, and just know that your guardian angels are with you. Um, and that will be very healing for you. Um, also, sometimes when you are healing through some sort of grief, it really helps the process when you help someone else. Um, it just is a distraction and takes you out of, of your own problems for that moment. I can see your guardian angels are really concerned about you, Cancer. They, they see you are hurting. They see you are grieving. Five of actions. Your angels want you to know that your current challenge pushes you to be assertive and self-confident. Be willing to stand up for yourself and defend your position. You have the right to excuse yourself from those who bring drama into your life. So there you go. So um, you may be in a situation that you have to, um, well, it says to go within. So only rely on yourself. Go out to nature and uh, stay away from the drama. You don't need that to help you heal right now. Oh, see, you are going to heal though. Successful completion. This is a time of incredible accomplishment. You're justified in feeling joy, a sense of completion and a pride in the amazing job you've done. You've been blessed with so many spiritual insights. Soon you'll begin a new journey, but for now, take time to bask in the happiness of your dreams coming true. I think what they're saying here, what they're trying to tell you, Cancer, is as soon as you let go of this grief, you, now you're going to allow other good things to come because our angels and the universe isn't like a vacuum. So as soon as you let go of this grief, 
Well, now you have room for other emotions and then you'll complete this grief and be able to move on. Let's see what the outcome will be. Ten of thought, a situation that's been tra troubling you has come to an end and you can breathe a sigh of relief. With the challenging times behind you, you can now move on. It's important to fully let go at this juncture. Someone in your life may now finally be free of his or her addictions or codependency issues. So there you go, Cancer. The, the, the angels are telling you they, they see you. They see that you're hurting. They know that you're hurting. And they want to help guide you through this. And how they're going to do that is like they're they're saying you you have to rely on you. Go out in nature. Maybe do something small for somebody else to distract yourself from these troubles. And as soon as you let go of this grief, as soon as you let go of 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 these emotions, your other new, better, happy emotions are going to come in because now you've made room for them. So if you know another Cancerian who needs to hear this message, to know that there is an end to this despair and this depression and this grief, and it will be soon, and the guardian angels want you to know they're with you, please share it with them. If you like this message, please give it a like so it lets me know you want to see more messages like this. Please take good care, Cancer, and we'll see you again.